All right, guys, when booting up Creality Print today, it looks like you're going to see a new release. Let's have a quick look at it, as a few of the updates seem super important. For example, number one, fixed an issue where if you sent a print, it would print the previous file. Gee whiz. Number two, fixed the error XS2060 in specific situations. Looks like some false reporting was happening there. Number three, this is a big one. There is a little bit of a loss in translation here, but it looks like there were some abnormal Z values during auto leveling with the K2 plus. Some of you have reported difficulty with your first layers. I haven't had this problem, but I've seen people report it. Looks like there was a software bug and Creality has addressed it. Number four, they fixed an issue with the object deletion page where it wasn't showing all models. This is when you're printing multiple objects and one of the models fails and you need to use the app to tell the printer to skip that object and continue printing. Some of the objects weren't showing. They addressed that. Number five, they made an adjustment to their default pressure advanced calibration settings. Number six, they fixed an issue with the chamber temperature where it was being set to zero instead of their intended temperature. Number seven, looks like there was a parameter update issue upon initial installation. I suppose that means once you install an update or upgrade of some form, it resolved that issue. But now if you're installing Creality Print 6 for the first time, that issue is solved. Parameter updates are important because Creality will make an adjustment to a certain printer or filament profile. And that profile needs to be updated within Creality Print 6. Number eight, they optimized the reconnection mechanism when the device is offline. It looks like if you had an offline device that you brought online, there may have been some issues with Creality Print or Creality Cloud, noticing that state change and reconnecting to bring that printer online. This update appears to adjust how that functions and hopefully it will work better. I have personally had an occasional issue and I've seen others with an occasional issue where the machine just will not show online. It's also interesting that they piggybacked a second comment rather than create comment number nine, which is they fixed certain issues that caused slicer lag. I have not seen slicer lag in Creality Print 6, but apparently they have and they've addressed that too. So looks like a solid update from Creality, who is a totally unrecognizable company these days, being hyper aggressive with firmware and software updates. In the past, they were the polar opposite and I congratulate them for addressing this immensely. Go ahead and get your Crowley Print 6 updated.